Okay, now we can start our first game development using Corona SDK. So here I have some games, screenshots. Uh, so for this game, uh, we need three uh, images. Uh, we need an image for background. Uh, we need a ball image and also we need an image for the platform. So these are the three images needed for the game. So here uh, I have all the images available in this folder. Here is the background for the game. Uh, this is the ball that you used in this in this game. And this is the platform on which the ball come to rust. Okay, these are the game uh, resources. These are the needed resources for the game. Okay, now we can start the new project in uh, Corona Simulator. So before going to do the before going to create the project here, I'm going to create a new folder for the project. So name the folder as Corona Projects. Okay, now we can start the application. Uh, so open Corona Simulator, uh, and from this window, uh, select this option New Project. So here uh, I already tried the uh, game before that's why uh, it shows the recent project don't worry that so uh, create a new project here so here uh, you need to specify the application name uh, bouncing ball I named the app as bouncing ball and now select the project folder I create a new folder in C drive the project and folder name is corona projects click ok uh, there is no need to change anything here and click ok ok now the project is created <laughs> so here uh, you got uh, three window this is the project folder and this is a uh, corona simulator I change the screen I change the hardware platform and zoom in okay so this is a corona simulator uh, you can test your application on this simulator and these are the project folder uh, these are the uh, files available uh, in the project folder and here is a simulator console corona simulator console uh, when you debug the project, uh, you can view the warning, exceptions, and error on this uh, console. So these are the basic component uh, of a Corona simulator. Okay, uh, now we can start the game development. So here uh, we have uh, a file called the main.lua. Uh, this is the core file of our application. So you can't create a gaming application in Corona uh, without this file this is the basic file of our application so now uh, we need to open this file in our favorite text editor here uh, I'm going to use a uh, notepad plus plus for the script writing so right click it and uh, edit with notepad plus plus so now the file available uh, on notepad plus plus I already told you that uh, the corona SD the corona simulator uh, is uh, real time so if I make some changes uh, on this file and if I click the save button you can see uh, that change reflected uh, on the uh, corona simulator of course here there is an error because uh, it is uh, a meaningless statement so, so you can uh, see the error on the corona simulator console there is an error now okay so these are the basic component uh, of a uh, new corona, pro corona project. Uh, 